Hi Luke, and welcome everyone to the 16th episode of the Pear Tree Podcast. Hello. It's great to have you on my new set. I'm not sure if I want to keep it here, because I quite like this this view. I had to move it because I'm still renovating my island. Oh, it's nice to be up by the lake though. And uh, yeah, it's nice to come over so we can have a little catch up about the week. It feels like it's been a really long time since we did last week's episode for some reason. I think it's because so much has happened. Well, I've not had a much so much time to play, but there's been a lot of things happening. The main thing sitting right in front of me. I was just going through my photos before we sat down to chat and they just kept on going and going and going. Lots going on this week. It's been great. I've had good fun. So, have you been decorating with these Mario items then? Um, not yet. I've got my, as you've probably seen when you came in, I've got some coins and a pipe out, but that just leads you straight to my house. My house, my main room is filled with all the furniture that I've ordered, just like one, at least one of each of everything, just to have it out. But I am planning something, but that's tight lipped now. Well, I feel like. It. A big secret. Oh. Yeah. I kind of feel like it takes a while to get all the stuff you need. So with the five item a day limit, I think I've put down 20 or 30 coins so far. So that's kind of been like most of my order slots taken up by coins. And yeah, I think for, the, Sorry. for doing the big projects, you kind of, you want to have quite a lot of coins and blocks and things it's going to take a while to stockpile all that stuff yeah definitely i think that's why it's nice to have some friends in the game who can send you some stuff which has been happening i was just emptying my mailbox with all the coins i'd asked for if you look a wee beggar but i do have do have uh, some stuff planned good i laid out a little um line of coins on my beach used some of the items and just made a little a little run up my beach just to kind of get them out and see what they were like really haven't done anything very inventive with them yet but you know what's been really getting me because i've been playing mario 3d world this week as well every time i play animal crossing i've been pressing y to run all oh, right there so buttons are backwards yeah because you run with Y and jump with B in Mario and obviously you run with B in Animal Crossing but in Animal Crossing Y is the thing that kicks your custom patterns off the floor Oh! (laughs) so I've been like erasing my paths all over the place because I've been pressing Y to try and go faster and obviously then I have to stop and relay my path so it's going much, yeah, much that slower. That would have been easy, yeah. Funny that you say that because when I've been, I put out some of the blocks, like the floating blocks when I first got them, just out outside just to see how they looked and I kept running under them and trying to jump and obviously you can't jump in and cross them. I was just that used to when you're playing Mario where you can jump up and hit the blocks. Yeah. Now I'm trying yeah. to press a button to interact with them but I do like it how they do make a wee noise and a wee coin comes out of the, some of the blocks. Yeah, it's very cool. And I'm just... Even if they just gave us uh, the pipe, the walk pipe, I'd have been happy with that. Like, I just think it's so amazing that, and it just opens up so much. It's pretty useful. Just even uh, just having one by the airport and one by your house. I've been decorating by the airport, so just being able to jump back and forth, pick up stuff from your house, drop off stuff that you've you know been moving, it's really useful. I'll, hopefully eventually I'll do something interesting and fun with them but right now they're just purely practical and I love them I was actually expecting you to come in your Princess Peach outfit oh yeah why didn't I do that I should have done that I've actually got mine on after, oh, I, do you know I just realised I haven't got the Luigi set or Wario um, I need to get that ordered Princess Peach all the way, but I think I took mine, I changed from mine 
when we went to Coco's birthday because I oh, thought yeah. you'd be wearing yours, but you weren't. You were wearing a fancy dress, uh, like a fancy dress, not, not <laughs> yeah, fancy dress. Yeah, dress, party dress. Um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't put it back on since. I haven't even bothered ordering any of the rest. I've been too busy trying to order the uh, items. But I'll put it back on when I get home. Yeah, I was running about with Princess Peach on. <laughs> You're actually looking quite smart tonight. Obviously, you still not put shoes on, but... You've got trousers what? on. <laughs> what? what have my shoes? I usually have trousers on. Or, or a nice dress. And a nice dress, what, yeah. what are you trying to say, Sandy? You look smart this evening. You're trying to say that I don't normally. You look more formal, that's what I mean. If I'm being perfectly honest, I just kind of picked the first thing that I came across in my uh, wardrobe. Well, you looked quite smart when you came to Coco's birthday as well. I did make an effort for Coco's birthday. And I got some compliments. Yeah, I had so much fun when at Coco's birthday. So Coco's birthday was on the 1st of March as well, the day of the, the update. But I knew I'd be busy updating or buy, try to see what all the new items were. So I had decorated her house the night before, just in preparation for her, because she's so sweet. And I just wanted her to have a nice birthday. I probably went a wee bit OTT, but why not? It's just an excuse to use the birthday items like you did the other week with Freckles birthday, which I thought was really nice, and using the face of our stuff as well, so I kind of stole that idea. Your decoration for her birthday was amazing. It looked really great. Because you can't do anything inside the house, so it was really nice to do something special in her garden and on the path leading up. I was very impressed. Yeah, I even put a warp pipe <laughs> but her house is so close to the airport, it didn't really have the same effect as if she was up the back where Tabby is a huck. I don't know. But it probably took longer to get to her house using the walk pipe, but yeah, it was, it's it was, not, it was it's not much as fun. more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was really cool coming to visit her. Um, she gave me a top hat, which I put on for the party. And what Huck oh, was. Oh, yeah. Huck was visiting on yours, wasn't he? Yeah. I love when the dress for parties are all so smart. So she had the cake hat on, didn't she? Yeah. No. She looked yeah. great. Yeah, she told me she was a... I don't know why I got this, like, it just caught me... Like, is weird because I know she's based on a bunny, but when I left after I gave her given her a present and I left her party, she had said that I'd made this bunny very happy, and I just thought that weird because uh-huh. she'd referred to herself as a bunny when I know she is a based on a bunny, but then I don't see her as a bunny. I don't know. No. I don't know, I don't know what I see her as, but I know I just caught me off guard when she said that. Now I had to think. Oh, yeah, you're a bunny. I don't know what I thought she was. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Because she's obviously part bunny, but then she's obviously part gyroid as well. Especially, like, her house kind of lends to that underground archaeological kind of thing. And then she's got a name like Coco, which makes me think of, like, a chocolate biscuit. I didn't know she was, a, a like, based on a gyroid until I, I was told, because I, I didn't see because she was called Coco, I thought she, I don't know, she didn't even remind me of Coconut, but I just thought it was Coconut, and because, like, yeah. she's got, like, these sunken eyes, like a Coco shell, if you know what I mean, if you had to carve eyes out of Coco, uh, like right, an empty yeah. shell, that's what I, what I thought her name was from, but it wasn't until I was told that it, no, it was actually a gyroid, which makes more sense, she does look a bit like a gyroid. And then her house is obviously underground, and that's where you find the gyroids in previous games, was you dug them up. I think her name in Japanese is more related to the period that gyroids were found in. But I'd always thought that her dark eyes were like the chocolate spread. 
you know, like in a sandwich biscuit. Ah, right, okay, right. So I just thought that you could, like someone had made a cute face biscuit and you could see through to the chocolate spread in the middle. <laughs> so now I think that's a bunny. That's why I loved her so much when I first saw her. I was like, look at this amazing chocolate biscuit bunny thing. She's great. So actually, after I left her party, I went to another Coco's birthday party and celebrated again. Who was at the Coco's party there? What villagers did um, they have? Melba. Oh, Melba. Oh, do you know what? Melba and Coco, when I had Melba, they would have got on really well, I think. Yeah. I don't know if they might. Like, I couldn't resist uh, a friend of ours had a visit from Celeste that night and I couldn't resist going over to see Celeste and um, obviously had to pop in and take Coco her present. It was very sweet to see her partying. She's not the only birthday villager this week was she? Because we got to go to... well I went to visit two Barolds. Yeah, Barolds was on the second. We got to have Barold's birthday the next day. Yeah, Barold's. I was looking forward to Barold's birthday. So was Barold. I think all of his snack dreams came true that day. <laughs> um, I did a little display for him. And I think in the morning, Shari came to visit. And then in the afternoon, you came to visit with Lolly. And when I got back in the evening, he had Whitney visiting as well. So he had a very, very busy birthday. And our friend Sammy also had a party for Barold. And they'd set up this incredible snack extravaganza outside of his house. Every like tables laden with all the most delicious cakes and treats. And he got loads of great presents from Sammy um, that he's going to get for the rest of the week until they're all gone, which I think is really, really sweet. He only got fruit from me. I thought with all the cake and snacks that he's going to be eating, he could probably do some fruit. Oh, actually, I just, sorry, that just reminds me. I've not been at Coco's house yet. I gave her a box of chocolates, you know, the ones for Halloween. Mm. For Valentine's. I, yeah, oh no. <laughs> I yeah, ba- yeah, Valentine's Day. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Halloween's my favourite holiday. I'm not a fa- fan of Valentine's. Hey, if you give chocolates out for Halloween, then I'm happy with that too. Um, Barold said on his birthday that he was at one with the cake and something like just call me birthday cake barrel or something like that and then he he asked me um how do you eat your chocolate how do you eat your birthday cake luke do you like to use a fork or slice it and then he said something like i've never tried just smushing my whole face into the cake Hmm, maybe i should try that (laughs) that seems like barrel does yeah my barrel gave me a bunny dress after i gave him a present i just gave him fruit oh you came dressed up as barrel didn't you yeah yeah i had these a tiger striped t-shirt and i had obviously a skirt i wore trousers at the bottoms because it's his favorite top and his favorite colors are yellow and black so Hmm. i had to make a special dress up for battle because he's a special guy and I got so much pictures of him <laughs> of his party yeah me too yeah because you were dressed as a what were you dressed as a cat or something animal wild animal I was dressed as a flashy animal yeah flashy animal because I thought Barold, Barold's kind of a flashy animal he's not really is he so He's not really very flashy. Oh, is it because you know you're on 
camera with all these cameras in his room. He's oh, he's not the cameras. He's screens in the room. <laughs> that was just strange. It was a weird setting for a party with hundreds of CCTV screens. <laughs> uh, it's, it's weird. It's weird in its own when he's even got his like server and things like that. But it's you know what it is. But then a year when it's set up for a party, it just looked really strange. It was kind of nicer at Sammy's where he's got the starter house with um, the wood, like the log cabin wall. Yeah, it's a it lot more It felt like a sleek. much more kind of homely yeah. party over there. I felt a bit weird partying in the, um, in, in the skin. <laughs> well, I think of it. When he's got all of his stuff out, I think of it like he's the Ray Alby security guard. And then I don't think it's oh, yeah. weird. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that's how I justify it being like less creepy because but he's what, actually... What is happening you know, in the Alby that you need a security guard? Well, Lieutenant Burpee Boy and other sea monsters that might attack, they, they do talk about that from time to time. Whoever this person that's littering is, dropping all these bottles on the beach all the time. And uh, that dodgy looking boat that turns up. Oh, yeah. He turned up today, <laughs> actually. And um, I had I had just been, <laughs> I just finished cursing him because I think in the last three times he's been, He's had one real piece of art, so out of 12, and it was something I already had. So I, I just finished a conversation where I was saying, yeah, stupid red always turning up with uh, rubbish artwork. And when he showed up this morning, he had like three real things. Oh, he's listening. But unfortunately... The fake thing was the rock head statue, and I was really excited when I saw it because it's one of only two, maybe three items that I have left to put in my museum. Oh no! So I was, I was a little bit upset that it was a fake one, but I bought it anyway because they're they're really cool. Yeah, I like them for decoration. So what else is happening on the Albi? Or was that the highlight of the week at Barrel's birthday? Oh, well, Barrel and Kogu's birthdays were pretty good fun. I've been doing loads of decorating, actually. I think I started this um, last week when we were talking, but I've redone the whole entrance now, and I'm really pleased with it. I can't quite get the music right. I can't quite get it to not play the in-game music even though I think I've got eight bamboo speakers tucked away in different places around there but it looks really cool and I've been really happy that the grass has gone has come back to nice green colour yeah I think it's all... still to get greener I was looking at pictures and I think it's going to of last year I'm sure it gets greener but it has lost that ashy grey tone to it. It's greener this morning, definitely. And it goes really well with the bamboo and the hedges that I've got planted on there. So that was, I, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I'd seen, um, seen it when I came to Barrels and I thought it was amazing. I don't, I don't know what you mean by the, the music being off or you're not quite, quite right. I thought as soon as you went over down maybe steps to your pier, like, sorry, off your like runway for the plane. All you can hear is that stale cupcakes. I thought it was amazing. Oh, that's good. There's not a little bit where you hear the game music start? No, as soon as you come out the airport, you can still hear the game music, but I don't know if you notice in the airport, the, the wood kind of changes as you because you're kind of going downstairs on the land. Mm. I don't know if you've noticed that. As soon as you step on that, as soon as the wood starts to dip with a different colour, then... The steel music, eh, the steel cupcakes hit, hits in, and I didn't stop hearing it until I was off the other side. Oh, good. Yeah, I want it to be a nice, peaceful welcome 
to the island. The villagers have been loving it. I've, they, I've found them there every day. I think saw Whitney going back and forth across it dozens of times and I've caught them all kind of sitting near the speakers or up against the cliff. So I've been really happy with that. I've also moved um, Barold and Graham's houses onto the beach because I think I said to you last week that I needed another incline for my entrance way. So I'm going to need to reclaim the incline from where their houses were and flatten that bit and then try and come up with something new to do with the shops. But I haven't thought that far ahead yet. But it's been good to getting some decorating done. I had to uh, ask Barold to if I could move his house um, and it was like 5.30 a.m. or something. So he got called into Tom Nook's. <laughs> Is he still wearing his PG? Yeah, this little nightcap on, they looked really cute. I didn't feel bad for him because it was just too cute. Well, he'll be happy, he doesn't have to run downstairs to get you snacks. Well, I know, but he is right on the other side of the island by the oh, beach. Oh, right, so it's not at the beach in front of Nook's, <laughs> no. No, he's down by Butch's. <laughs> But there are some, um, there is a barbecue going 24 7 and two vending machines there. So oh, right. oh, I guess arguably it. he's better off now. Although he did ask to leave this week. <gasps> Was it after his birthday? Hmm. And uh, I didn't say, I said no, obviously. But we talked about Graham leaving, didn't we? And. I think there's a chance that Graham might come and live with you for a little while after he leaves. Yeah. Although... You stood into that idea? I am. But there's a campsite villager in my campsite just now. Wow, me too. So, it's... I've never seen this person. Who and is I really it? Want, it's Norma the cow. I've never seen her. Oh, okay. She looks cool. And she's another normal, so she's a wee friend with Coco. But Aww. I've only got one person who could, she can replace, so I'm kind of stuck about whether I want to spend the time trying to get him to push Huck out when I really wanted to replace Huck with Graham. Well, I'm not in too much of a rush. Um, I did scan Cherry's amiibo twice. So she's ready to move when you've got a plot, she can move in and move out, Graham. But I do think that if Graham moves, then I'll be happy to let Barold move as well, because I kind of, when I first invited them, I kind of imagined them being best friends and, you know, sharing their living, sharing their kind of outside living space. And I have no idea where that idea came from, but I don't know, I just always had that in my head so I think once I am okay with one of them going the other one will be allowed to go as soon as they ask and I wonder if you might rather have Barold actually than Graham well I'll take both of them if I have to <laughs> you don't have to no I don't, I don't mean have to I'm going to have them it's I want to have every village and I want all their photos are as close to everyone as I possibly can. Well, we'll figure it out. I'm not in any rush for them to go. And if I'm going to get their photos, this sounds horrible, but if I'm going to get their photos as quick as I did Coco's, although that theory is just a theory at the minute, then, yeah, I'm all for it. I feel like I haven't had a photo for a month. I know that I got quite a few villagers at the same kind of time, so maybe... It'll, it'll happen, they'll happen quite close to each other, but I, Tom and Butch and Freckles, I feel like I'm overdue for getting their photos with how much I gift them. Maybe they just hate my gifts, it's quite possible. <laughs> Are you still been doing the fruit? Maybe they've changed it secretly without anybody notice. 
Maybe I'll buy them some stacks of lockroom fruit on the way home today. Yeah, some nice apples. Yeah, because I'm not going to get any from my trees. Because uh, you've obviously given me the idea. You always bring me pears, and I think, oh, I should be taking people apples because I can. I can't get to my apples because they're surrounded by flowers because they're only for display purposes. Because I don't have any in my orchard because there's no value to me because I can't give them to my villagers. So I'm going to have to rethink my orchard a bit. Do you want me to let you into a secret, Sandy? Yep. I always buy my pears from my nook <gasps> shop before coming to visit you. What? They're not hand-picked fresh <laughs> off the tree? Oh. No well, wonder my, my, my villagers aren't giving me presents anymore. Shop-bought uh, uh, pears. Because I always give my oh, yeah. pears to my, my villagers. I assume that they're still Rayalbi grown, delicious, fresh, hand picked pears. Yeah, they're, but they're just not, they're not hand picked by me. Yeah, they won't be as fresh and they're inflated prices for definite. <laughs> uh, so I've got Cody visiting today. Cody? Oh, the, the beer? Yeah. He's cool, but he's another jock. I mean, I know that eventually I'm going to have to relax my no more jocks rule, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I, th- I think if you don't take Cody, you'll definitely take Manu Villager. I got, uh, was it a campsite? Yeah, it was a campsite Villager. The starting last week. And I got another jock. So I have got three jocks now on my island. Oh, he's... Amazing. This is um, Rudy, right? Rudy, yeah. So I got I got him obviously before Coco's birthday. But I, he's just amazing. He's just been zooming everywhere this week. Excellent. And he's been singing along. He was up in Shari's... They seem to like Shari's garden. She's got KK Rock playing in her garden. I've got a few of them up there singing along. So he was up there singing along with KK Rock. And I thought it was strange that a jock was singing because i never seen Sprocket sing and I had him for ages but then I was thinking that and then today it was it yesterday yesterday and today Ty has been singing along to Kiki Scar near the plaza mm-hmm. which has been nice cool. although I've kind of hid the tape players behind objects like trees or plants just to keep them out of view I just want the music playing but then yeah. I can't see them singing they're like side on and I can't yeah, see they, their little yeah, faces yeah they go and hide yeah and then Maybe this is, I've not noticed it before, but it does happen. Them whistlings, whistling along to tunes. i seen Shari whistling last night. Oh. What do you mean? Like, like she was... You could you could hear them, <laughs> hear them a, a noise or they, yeah, were, they were doing singing. The, like the little notes? They were singing, but they were like, it was like a whistle rather than the little talk, like sick song parts. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I, maybe, I was t- maybe I was tired. Yeah, I thought it was cute. I hadn't noticed it before. Shari, she was just h- hanging out by the the airport singing along. I don't know, though. I think I might have only noticed that at um, Thanksgiving and Festival. I don't remember I... noticing that in normal play. Yeah, I've got it on video. I'll let you have a look, but I haven't looked back at it. Yeah, I'll check that out. I'm sure she was whistling for Celeste because I had Celeste last night but it was really late last night that I realised oh, cool. I had a, but I got the recipe because I needed the recipe I think everybody else had met Celeste at one point this month but I still I'd missed her when other friends have had her on my island because my sky was I noticed I had a really nice day yesterday and I was I'm going to make, make a point of going on in the evening to check if she's there and I'm on and I couldn't find her but I had left my switch on sleep and I was outside, so I don't know if she hadn't appeared. But then, I actually, when I gave away yesterday, so I won some Nick Mile tickets, and the person who came to deliver them, and after she left, Celeste was just like hanging about the plaza. Oh, yeah. So I got my, my lamp, I was, yeah, I've still not made it. I need to go through and make all my. Recipes from Celeste. I haven't made them all. 
You need some gold for that one, I think. Yeah, I've got plenty of gold anyway. And I got loads of Pisces fragments last at the start of the month. At the start of the new star sign, because I did have stars that night. Just no Celeste. So have you had much uh, happening on Lockroom this week, apart from Coco's birthday? Not a lot, and as you can see, I haven't really decorated either. I haven't done anything. I just I have a plan now for what I want to do with that front area. But oh, great. This is the secret plan that we're yeah, not allowed to hear is, about. Yeah, this is a secret plan. Okay. It's a secret because I don't want to tell anybody because I don't know if I'll pull it off, but I'm going to try my best to. That's great. Get it I'd, done I'd, like a, I'd rather the... come and get a surprise. Yeah, I think it'll be a couple of weeks. Oh, when is the 9th? Is it, when is it? 20th of March? Oh when my was goodness. the release? It's, it's just clicked that it's March and March is the uh, year anniversary. I kind of hadn't put those two things together yet. Yeah, so I've got a deadline. The year anniversary is my deadline for my area. Hey, that reminds me, just as we finished recording last week, they announced the um, Sanrio cards and what they would do in New Horizons. Oh my goodness, yeah, I can't believe we just forgot about that. I remember and getting it, off, <laughs> just like trying to search the internet, finding out all this information. It just feels like so long ago that it's almost like it's old news now. But wasn't that just... That was smashing. I loved that. I'm very, very excited for some of the Sanrio furniture. And I can see one or two new villages in that lot as well. Oh, one or, one or two for you? Or just... Is that only the one or two you would take? Yeah. One or, yeah, one or two that I'd like to invite straight away. Thank you. Toby is going to be scanned as soon as possible. Assuming that we can get the cards, I mean, I haven't managed to order any yet. Yeah, I haven't seen any pre-orders yet here, anyway. And I was thinking that that was still months and months away in my mind, but now we've just sat down and talked about March being right now. <laughs> Yep. It was not quite uh, on the anniversary though, is it? Is it not like the twenty sixth? I think it's on the eighteenth. Is it in the eighteenth? The eighteenth um, that the update comes. Ah, uh, right, okay. But the twenty sixth that the cards come out. So anybody that's got old uh, set of cards. Oh, they can start can scan scanning from, right. from the eighteenth, I think. Ah, nice, okay. Well, hopefully. We know some people that have them. But oh my god, how how cool do those items look? The items in the little cloven accessories look really cool. So good. There's so many good hats. There's just like so much so there's so much stuff. I think I must have watched the video through like three or four times, like pausing it to check out all the cute little things. Toby's kit was my favourite. I don't really know much about the Sanrio stuff or what characters they relate to. Yeah, me um, neither. But I just think they look good. Toby's probably going to be my first Sanrio villager that I invite because he has just the cutest. It's kind of like Japanese themed um, bamboo kind of style. There's like a, a kind of sliding screen door. And he's got that cute little pond with the red bridge going over it. And I think it's going to be just decorative because it's very small. Yeah. I don't think you'll be able to walk on the bridge. But it's also got that really cute little um, stone. Looks a bit, a bit like a lantern, maybe? Yeah, it looks a bit like the stone mountain we already have, but obviously it's just much so much cuter. Yeah, with a cute face on it. So that might fit in really nicely in my entrance. And he's got another few little cute things with faces on. And he's a smug, so that's cool. And he's a little rabbit, so... Yeah, I think he'll fit right in. And I really like the um, chai cafe items as well. Did you see that little yeah. uh, 
chalkboard. Oh, they've, got the, they've got the chalkboard and they've got like the, that bunny couch. Yeah. That's Which really would be cool. good for, I think it would be good for, and that, that the, what do you call it, the, like the parasol kind of thing, which I just feel that there's no use for those items, like when I had the mushroom one and even the festival one, like I don't even know what they're for, but they just look good and that one, I like the colours on it. I'm going to be using the ones for Easter if someone gifts me them, if I don't get a pack of the cards myself. And a little cup, it looks a bit like Chip from Beauty and the Beast, but not quite. <laughs> base on it. Well, I'm hoping that we'll be able to trade the items between ourselves and send them as gifts, even if we don't all manage to get um the cards. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be too disappointed if I couldn't get the villagers to come and move in, um, but I would really like to get some of the furniture. So hopefully that will happen. And I wonder if it, we might start seeing restocks of the other amiibos, like the Series 1 to 4 packs, and maybe even get some amiibos for the new characters? The new ones in Animal Crossing, eh, the new Horizons, like... Yeah, Sherb Raymond. and uh, Raymond. I just had to say the obvious one, because that's the one... I think he'll just be a bit, um, he'll not be as wanted anymore, I think, now that we've got all these new characters out. And if his amiibo comes out as well, it'll be so easy to get a hold of him, because at the start, obviously, he was a bit of the hot village up to have. Yeah, he's very sought after. He's still cool, though. I'd, I'd, like, uh, I'd like to have him move in one day. But Sherb is definitely higher on my list of... Share business. The, the I like how it is blue, and I like some one of our friends has got Sherb as well. I like Liz and Sherb. He's got a really cute face. But that was very exciting when they announced all that stuff. Exciting, but I'm just have to be negative about it because I'm just hoping that isn't just keeping us happy because they've not gave us Brewster or they're doing an update and the 1st of March and just going to air the story the 20th of March and just going to surprise us with Brewster and I keep going on about Brewster but yeah you I sound really, like the I whole really rest of the to, internet Sandy I really need, need the coffee <laughs> and someone had put an idea I think I spoke about this Sunday had put the idea to, I think I said it last week so I'm not going to repeat it again but having Brewster on the island would just be so good villagers come and go but Brewster stays like Give me booster. Yeah, I do sound like the rest of the internet. But I do think that m- that this maybe suggests they're not planning a huge anniversary update because they've got the one point nine update coming out on March the eighteenth. It doesn't sound very likely that they'll have a two point update two days later. And mm. you know, like a lot of the a lot of the world shut down for five or six months due to the COVID pandemic last year. And I think that even if they had planned a big anniversary update, it just might not be ready this year. Stop making excuses. Do you work for, do you work for Nintendo? Look, are you making excuses for them? They have gave us the Mario update and the Sun new one, so they have no excuses. I mean, if I did work for them, I almost certainly <laughs> would lose my job by saying what I'm saying right now. Um, no, yeah, I really this, this podcast is not endorsed by Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's pretty reasonable to think that if they did have something big planned, it might be delayed a few months. I feel like the Mario stuff that we're just getting is stuff that should, would have come earlier and things like Mario 3D World were due to come out last year and I would have thought the Mario items would have come out last at the same year time. in Animal Crossing as yeah. well but I feel like whether we get uh, a big update in March or not the Sanrio update bodes well for the future content of Animal Crossing. 
New Horizons, like the fact that they're going to be bringing in new villagers, new furniture sets is really exciting. And I think the Mario items, the Sanrio items, they're, they're kind of like just the start of what's going to be a really yeah. cool series of updates for the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah, no, you're definitely right. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to go to, I'd like to have another building on my island as well. But if it doesn't happen soon, I'm not, it's fine. It will happen eventually. Yeah. You'll just have to make do with all of Chai's lovely items and build your own cafe. Yeah. In, in the meantime. I suppose I will. Or at least give us drinkable drinks. <laughs> drinkable drinks seems like it drinkable would be drinks. like a good compromise. But then if you got that, everyone would just be completely raging on the internet about how, how have we got drinkable drinks but no barista? <laughs> Can't please everyone all the time. Yeah. No, I'm happy. I'm I'm ha- quite happy with the Mario update, to be honest, on its own. Have you ever thought about putting in a, another character to do a cafe or something like that? Um, I did originally plan, I think I spoke about this before, I did originally plan to have like a, like the house that's John's house was going to be like a, a community hub almost, where it had little, like a cafe, little library, little doctor surgery, just like somewhere that the villagers could go and get all their needs met, but that I never worked. I don't think you have mentioned that to me before. Oh, I'd have a note. Yeah, I've that's seen what it as I the gym, to do. and it's a it's a cool, it's great with the gym, and it's got the kind of reception and the sauna and the weight room and all that kind of boxing ring. Um, yeah, I think I just done that, and then I just like, oh, it's done, and then I don't need to worry about that anymore. I think at the time I just done it. It was just what I wanted to do at that time, but yeah, I might, I might go back to that idea if I don't get Brewster for my coffee. I might need to make a wee. Cafe and call her cafe. Yeah. I think it's quite often about when inspiration strikes you in Animal Crossing, it's quite easy to get stuff done. But like sometimes the planning and stuff, it can be a bit of a drag and make you not like that up for it and kind of draw out a little bit. Yeah, I just need some inspiration to it. But no, I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do with my big plan, so I'll just concentrate on that for now. And hopefully it will work out. How have your villagers been this week? Yeah, they're fine, actually. Just as you mentioned that, you were, you mentioned the other week that Shari makes like weird stuff, or weird recipes. Oh, weird cooking, yeah. Yeah, and I think she had caught, was it Bob? Yeah, it was Bob. He's like, obviously... It was the same conversation that Shari and Barold had, and Bob's also a lazy, and it was about, right. she had a recipe, a Lockram special popcorn or something like that, and she spoke about having applesauce and apple strudel bits over it, and like, late uh, Bob just looked repulsed by this and was like, yeah, uh, I'm going to be hiding from you, but I thought that actually sounded nice, like it yeah, wasn't it, the worst it, thing to have. No, so, yeah. did you say it was popcorn? Popcorn with like applesauce and ap- bits of apple strudel in it. I mean, that I sounds that. amazing. Yeah, so I, I don't know like, what he was he was expecting, but I thought that sounded good. She offered Barold um, falafel with pear sauce. Yeah, that's a bit and strange. Panna cotta shavings, which sounds gross, but at least popcorn's kind of sweet. Yeah, and they're both sweet and or at least at least like... neutral. Yeah. <laughs> Although I went up to speak to Henry, he was sitting on the wee tree stump outside his house because I still haven't dug that up yet. But I forget, I forget to dig them up, and then I find villagers sitting on them. They say, "No, I'm not going to dig that up because I like them sitting on the tree stump." That's too cute, yeah. And I went up to speak to him, and he said, "Sorry, I'm on my break." And then like that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't like, "Oh, what do you want?" Or do you, like, give me the option to give him a present. That was end of. Like that was just it. Brilliant. Okay, thanks. Hook. 
Yeah, I guess. I guess they need a break too. Um, I went and spoke to Biscuit while he was sitting down, and he was like, "I would get up and give you my seat, but my butt's really enjoying being smushed here or something. Something weird." <laughs> so no, no big dramas, no rows. No big. Although Shari did have Rudy questioning his, his whole, his whole um, reason for working out. Because I think she questioned, because he said that he once ripped abs or something. I thought, he hasn't, I see because he does zoomies and all that, I, I can get past all his dialogue because I could just, like, I could just sit and watch him. Yeah. But then Shari was like, but what do you do after you've got your ripped abs? Like, what? What's the point? And then he's like, oh, I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that. And then he's sweating, <laughs> questioning why he's doing all these crunches, asking me why. And I'm like, keep me out of it. And then... It's Shari, a good question, Sherry. Yeah. And he said, I'm doing it because I feel good. And then Sherry said, oh, that's a good reason I dig it. I'm sorry for... Slamming you. That's what she said. Slam, no, slamming no, that's, you. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good, that's a good so reason. So they um, made up, well, not made up, they weren't getting angry with each other, but it was a nice conversation and I think we'll be friends. Shari had a lovely exchange with Lolly. I just caught the bit where Lolly was like dancing away from the conversation, really happy. I went up and spoke to her and she was telling me all about um, the joy of weeding and that she'd just been telling Shari about how much she loves weeding. And I think that Shari and Lolly were having a set of different conversation later about Shari's love of gardening as well. I never really knew that Lolly was into gardening. She's always been more about her books. Yeah. She's had she's read quite a few books this week. Do you want to hear about the books that she's read? Yeah, go for it. When push comes to shovel. <laughs> so I guess maybe that that could be a book about that, gardening, couldn't it? It's definitely a gardening book. Uh, Three dimensional thinking. Okay. Uh, she's been reading some magazines. She was telling freckles, and um, she was telling <laughs> Shari about how she was reading a book called Raccoon of Action. And uh, I don't know, is that maybe, do we think that Tom has written a book? Tom Nook? Possibly. He has done a lot. He's had several towns, cities, islands. It seems like he would be too busy to sit and write a book, but think that he would appreciate the entrepreneurial opportunities of being a published author yeah but so really, maybe he's had someone ghost ghost write, ghost write it for him but what do you think he does when he's sitting at that desk all day really because how many times do you got a mask and remove bridges he only lets you move once once a day so realistically you're going to have at least two conversations with him a day if that i think he's got plenty of time so do you think the reason he'll only move one bridge a day is because he's like, I'm only doing that one bridge a day because I've got like 80 yeah, got, pages to write before. Like, write, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably why he keeps, he's at it actually, it's probably um, Isabel that's writing up for him. He's just um, dictating. Yeah, of course. Poor Isabel. He does have his own computer though, because you see it like, closed but facing you oh he's definitely just watching watching youtube videos or tiktoks yeah (laughs) just looking yeah yeah uh, biscuit said to me once um what even is the deal with tom nook (laughs) and that's always just stuck with me (laughs) Did they elaborate? Did they say anything else? What yeah, it was a whole, it was a whole big, brilliant conversation about <laughs> being. Oh, it's it it great, but 
I won't share it because I don't want to spoil it for. Oh, right, if I, yeah. But yeah, he had this whole big like conversation about it, which might have been one of the things that first made me like really, really love Biscuit. What even is the deal with Tom Nook? I don't know, Biscuit. Cool. Well, it's been really good fun catching up. There's been so much to talk about this week. I can't believe that we nearly forgot about the Sanrio stuff and all the birthdays, all the Mario stuff. It's been what a great week. It's been really good. So thanks for having me over. No, thanks for coming and sharing. I've had a great week this week and thanks yeah. everyone for listening. Yeah. And it's dark, so you need to go. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks again, Sunday. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.